for Summer. Um, when you're preparing to do Cameron Phillips' character, do you sometimes think of other fictional characters like Lieutenant Commander Data or Counselor Deanna Troy? <laughs> I do love Deanna Troy, little girl, but no, no, I, I, um, it's really just my own thing. I mean, when I first started, we had many meetings and discussions about how to build the character. So it took it took me the whole first season to get comfortable, but now when I read the scene, I automatically have some reactions to how to play it. So it's gotten, it's gotten more comfortable. Well, thank you for explaining <laughs> so I had a question for Summer also. Um, I was just reading in the magazine here that had an article about you and it was like talking about how you got to hang out with the stunt team and stuff. And I was wondering if you do any of your own stunts on the show. She does all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that let me do, I do. Um, it's a huge show. Um, I'm really excited about the production of it. Um, it's a lot of fun. They'll take the most difficult stunt, like if if, uh, if Cameron's falling out of a two-story building, I, I don't get to do that. Or if she's jumping from a moving car, they don't want to do that. But the hand-to-hand -hand stuff, I I get to do myself. I was just I would add that summer summer has been a real trooper this year. She's gotten really beaten up here. Really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas too. Actually, to follow up on Summer's answer, what was it like to flip that truck? Were you actually there when you flipped that truck in the first episode of the season? Oh, the first, yeah, I did that. We timed it out. So How did you possibly do that? Past, I think there was like 40 miles an hour or something. And we just timed it out. So I, I actually hit it. But it's a separate, when they flipped the truck, it was, that was a huge, huge stun. Are you um, even allowed to be close when that's going on? <laughs> Folks, any other questions? Go ahead. For uh, Shirley, what kind of prep did you do for the role? Um, Spent time around urinals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I painted her fingers over. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I thought about the character that Glenn Close played in Damages. Um, and I, I thought about Margaret Thatcher. Who, <laughs> me, sort of, at least when I was growing up, was really the sort of face of, of um, unpleasantness. And uh, I felt like the character shouldn't be particularly warm. I mean, I really thought it was important that she was not human, you know, so I didn't quite know how to do that being a complete novice, so I just thought she should be really stiff and, and cold, and so I, I thought about those two characters and then tried to sort of do my own spin on it, or try to imagine what it's like not to have any emotion, which is, you know, emotion or emotion, so I did my best, that's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> this, was, uh, this was your first acting role? Yeah. Fantastic job. Just starting out, I got to say. Uh, any other questions, folks? Yeah. In the back, Oakley shirt? Uh, uh, I know it's almost a given, but uh, who came up with the idea of having Shirley sing on uh, Samson and Delilah? Uh, I mean, it was, it was my idea. Uh, <laughs> the song was always in the script. The song was always in the script. Um, I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan, and he did a cover of it uh, in Italy uh, two years ago, one night. And um, I would always loved that song, and I had it in the script. It was really the first thing that I had in my head when I started writing the episode. I didn't really even know what the episode was. Um, I just knew I wanted that song to open open it. And, and so it surely wasn't, I mean, in my mind to do that, we were going to do it one way or the other. I mean, Bear and I were going to do it, and we were going to have somebody sing it. And then we cast Shirley, and then, you know, it, we, it was a, a process, really, to do it. It wasn't just a gimme. Because I really, and I, it's funny, because at Comic-Con, someone asked me if she was going to sing, and I said, she's here to act. And, I, and that was true at the time. We had actually not uh, completely figured out the singing thing. She was there to act, and I also didn't want anyone to feel like she was there to sing, and that's why she was cast because she was the best actress in the room when we did the auditions, and that's why she was there. And I just, you know, it wasn't a stunt. It was, you know, and um, so it was a bit, you know, you know. I knew she could kick the shit out of the oh, sorry, I could say that. Um, I knew she was going to perform the song admirably. And, uh, but 
I didn't. Still against swearing. Yeah, I know, but I, you know, I just didn't want it to be a gimmick. But you know, obviously, once I got her drunk, she. Ate the <laughs> Most of the things you have all of us do on this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way I get to wife, my friend. Oh, okay, got it. Go ahead. Okay, okay. This is for Thomas. Um, in a lot of your previous roles, you have not had to do romance. Mm. Um, and this mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> 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 it looks like it's, it's going to be something. And I, I'm curious, is this going to be a challenge? Are you excited? Are you terrified? No, I, I mean, uh, my previous romantic experience was with Ruthie Camden on Saturday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which was fulfilling. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, I think it just kind of, for me, it goes with the territory that everything about this guy is sort of not what I've done before. Um, and I thought that from the beginning. I've always played the freak or the, the weirdo or the sidekick or the murderer or the whatever. So, um, you know, doing the kind of leading possible hero uh, thing has always feel, felt bad at my depth, yet I also feel really close to him, like I feel like I get him. So the whole thing with, uh, uh, with Riley, um, I think it's just, it's more interesting for me to play his kind of inner emotional battle about it. Because on the one hand, right now he's so like, I don't want to feel, I don't want to have anything normal, like now I've given up and I'm ready to fight. And then on the other hand, it's like, oh, but I can't help but feel for this girl. And she's sort of pulling him back and forth, and that's very cool to play. Yes. Next up, anybody? <laughs> Throw them at us. Let's go right here, glasses. Oh, the um, some people out there actually put the standard there yeah. saying, uh, what model is Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> Super. Super. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Harley Davidson shirt. Guys, I have one last question. Um, uh, is it, is the show is actually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Maybe for next season, is there any chance of having the old governor come down and do a walk out? <laughs> <laughs> he and I were talking about that last week. And, uh, <laughs> I just said no, I wasn't interested. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, it's a question for uh, Thomas and Brian. You, you guys were supposed to have John and uh, Derek Tools have more of a relationship this season. Is there like a favorite scene that you guys liked? Or? From this season? Well, it hasn't. It hasn't really <laughs> from this season or yeah, from, from last? Yeah. Well, our stuff really isn't all in episode five. Yeah, episode five is a, is a big, is a big uh, Derek and John episode. It's 52 minutes, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> it's 52 minutes, it's sponsored by Dodge. <laughs> Got those extra minutes. Did you know that the Dodge Ram in tonight's episode? Nice close-ups on the Dodge. <laughs> hey, we got a longer episode. It's a it's a good episode. Awesome. Did you get a free Dodge? Dodge. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> All right, two more questions, folks. Go right here. Um, this questions for Josh. I want to know, like, why is it that in every episode? Um, it's always after the first like 10 or 11 minutes you actually see the names of the actors and stuff. Why isn't that they're just... Because our openings are so awesome! We <laughs> <don't have actors. laughs> their names! That's why! You couldn't have Shirley Manson singing Samson Delilah and people blowing up and starring us. <laughs> <laughs> That's my response. I answer for you. <laughs> That's, That's better than I could have said. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Um, let's go with the hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to be on love scene between Cameron and John? I hope so. Was it, was it love scene between What was that between the truck and the first episode? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a love scene, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, thank you very much.